This is life in Uganda. Dangers, traditions, ethnic groups, what not to do. Have you ever heard that if you are in Uganda, you better stand up when the elders show up? Well, today we are diving into a topic that's both fascinating and eye-opening, so grab your popcorn and let's get on a journey to discover the interesting world of Uganda. Let's kick things off with the darker side of the coin. The dangers you might encounter in Uganda. Now every place has its challenges, right? In Uganda, it's essential to be cautious about diseases like malaria and schistosomiasis which are prevalent in certain areas. Malaria, a mosquito-borne illness, is prevalent in certain areas of Uganda. But don't let that discourage you. Armed with the right knowledge and preventive measures, you can navigate this challenge with ease. First on your checklist, mosquito nets. Your trusty companions in the battle against these pesky insects. These nets create a protective barrier, ensuring that you enjoy restful nights free of unwelcome buzzing. And let's not forget about preventive medications. A vital tool to keep malaria at bay. Consult a healthcare professional before your journey to understand the most suitable medication for your needs. Now, let's talk about schistosomiasis, a lesser known yet equally important concern. This waterborne parasitic infection is found in freshwater sources like rivers and lakes. While exploring Uganda's stunning water bodies might be irresistible, it's essential to exercise caution. Avoid direct contact with freshwater that might be infested with the parasite, especially if you are planning on swimming or wadding. Wearing protective footwear can act as an added safeguard. Uganda's mesmerizing landscape aren't just a feast for the eyes. They are also home to an incredible array of wildlife. From majestic lions to graceful giraffes, the country's national parks are teeming with creatures that will leave you in awe. However, a reminder that this is their territory and respecting their space is paramount. Safaris are a thrilling way to witness these animals in their natural habitat, but always follow the guidance of experienced guides. Keep a safe distance, don't approach the animals, and avoid sudden movements that might provoke them. While nature's wonders are a significant part of Uganda's allure, the rich tapestry of cultures and traditions woven into its fabric is equally captivating. As travelers, it's our responsibility to embrace these cultures with respect and sensitivity. Engage with the locals, learn about their customs, and take the time to understand their way of life. Engaging with local communities can be an enriching experience, providing insights into daily life, traditions, and challenges. However, do so with cultural sensitivity. Seek permission before taking photographs of individuals, especially in rural areas. Remember that the essence of travel lies not in just exploring landscapes, but also in forging meaningful connections with the people who call these places home. Uganda's biodiversity is a treasure that needs protection. Many tour operators and lodges in the country follow ecotourism practices, aiming to minimize the impacts on the environment and contribute to local conservation efforts. By choosing to support such initiatives, you become a part of the solution ensuring that Uganda's natural beauty thrives for generations to come. Vibrant Traditions Alright, time to turn the spotlight on the colorful traditions that make Uganda truly unique. Uganda's traditional dances are more than just performances. They are a window into the soul of the nation. The rhythmic movements are a testament to the celebratory essence of Ugandan culture. But wait, there's more! The Amagunju Dance performed by the Bamasaba people, is a whirlwind of graceful steps that tell stories of history and identity. Each move is steep in tradition, reflecting the values and beliefs of the community. And then, there's the Kadodi dance, a mask dance performed by the Basoga people during circumcision ceremonies. Now, let's talk about the grand extravaganza that is a Ugandan wedding. It's not just a union of two souls, it's a celebration that brings families friends, and entire communities together. Imagine days filled with joy, music, laughter, and endless feasting. Ugandan weddings are a sight to behold, characterized by their vibrant attire, lively music, and a sense of camaraderie that warms the heart. A traditional Ugandan wedding often comprises several ceremonies, each with its own significance. 
The introduction ceremony, known as the Kwanjula, is a joyous occasion where the groom's family formally meets the bride's family. It's a chance to exchange gifts, share laughter, and lay the foundation for the upcoming nuptials. The Kuhingira ceremony, also known as the giveaway, marks the groom's official introduction to the bride's family and community. Uganda's cultural mosaic extends beyond dances and weddings. With over 56 ethnic groups, each with its own language, traditions, and history, Uganda is a true melting pot of cultures. Take, for instance, the Baganda, Uganda's largest ethnic group known for their vibrant dances, intricate beadwork, and rich folklore. Then there are Karamojong, pastoralists, with a strong connection to their land and livestock. The Basoga, on the other hand, are known for their artistic prowess, crafting intricate baskets and pottery that reflects their deep-rooted traditions. And let's not forget the Pakiga, who honor their ancestors through the Ekikoti dance, a captivating display of unity and ancestral reverence. These diverse culture intertwine, creating a harmonious symphony that's unique to Uganda. As the world evolves, the challenge of preserving traditional cultures becomes more vital than ever. Fortunately, Uganda recognizes the importance of safeguarding its heritage. Festivals like the Imbalu celebrate the rite of passage for boys into manhood, while initiatives like Bayimba International Festival provide a platform for showcasing Ugandan art, music, and dance on a global stage. Unity in Diversity Ethnic Groups Uganda isn't just a single identity, it's a tapestry of ethnic groups, each with its unique traditions. Let's start with the Baganda, the largest ethnic group in Uganda. Known for their intricate beadwork and vibrant dance forms, the Baganda have a profound impact on the country's cultural landscape. Their dances, like the Ganda dance and the Bakisimba, celebrate unity and vitality, resonating with the spirit of the nation. The Baganda beadwork, often incorporated into their clothing, is a testament to their artistry and creativity. Next up, we have the Basoga. This ethnic group is renowned for their exquisite bark cloth clothing, a traditional attire that's both stylish and symbolic. Bark cloth, made from the inner bark of the mutuba tree, is transformed into clothing that reflects the Basoga's cultural identity. The art of crafting bark cloth has been passed down through generations, making it an integral part of their heritage. The Karamojong, a pastoralist ethnic group, are known for their unique hairstyles and intricate beadwork. Their hairstyles aren't just a fashion statement, they are a reflection of their identity and cultural prides. Beads, often woven into their hair, tell stories of their journeys, achievements, and experiences. Cultural Sensitivities Now, let's talk about the cultural sensitivities you need to be aware of. Ugandans are warm and welcoming, but it's essential to respect local customs. First things first, let's talk about greetings. Ugandans are known for their warmth and friendliness, and greetings play a significant role in their interactions. When meeting someone, a firm handshake accompanied by a smile is the norm. It's a simple gesture, yet it conveys respect and camaraderie. So, whether you are meeting a new friend or being welcomed into a local community, a warm handshake is the key to opening doors, both literally and figuratively. As you step into the homes of Ugandans, remember that removing your shoes before entering is a mark of respect. This tradition extends beyond practicality. It symbolizes leaving behind the dirt of the outside world and entering a space of purity. It's a small gesture that holds significant cultural weight, reflecting the value Ugandans place on cleanliness and reverence for their surroundings. One cultural nuance that's deeply rooted in Ugandan society is the respect for elders. Never interrupt someone older than you, especially during conversations. It's considered impolite and disrespectful to cut off an older person when they are speaking. Instead, patiently wait for them to finish and then express your thoughts. This practice showcases the value that Ugandans place on wisdom, experience, and intergenerational dialogue. Now let's venture into the world of food. Ugandan cuisine is a delightful blend of flavors and textures that reflect the nation's rich cultural diversity. When invited to a meal, don't be shy. Embrace the opportunity to savor local dishes, from matoke to pasho to the irresistible Rolex. Each dish is a culinary journey through Uganda's heritage. And do not forget to use your right hand. In Ugandan culture, the left hand is considered less clean and is usually reserved for personal hygiene. 
what not to do. All right, drum roll, please. Let's talk about what not to do in Uganda. Let's address the elephant in the room: public displays of affection while handholding or a peck on the cheek might be commonplace in some parts of the world. It's a different story in Uganda. Public displays of affection, such as hugging and kissing, are generally frowned upon and may be considered inappropriate. Now, let's talk about dining, a universal joy that brings people together. In Uganda, many traditional dishes are enjoyed with the hands, a practice that's not only delicious but also deeply cultural. When indulging in the tactile pleasure of Ugandan cuisine, remember to use your right hand. The left hand is reserved for personal hygiene activities, and using it during meals is considered unclean. Feet. They are wonderful for walking and dancing, but in Ugandan culture, they are also symbolic in ways you might not be aware of. Never point your feet at someone or religious objects, as feet are considered the lowest part of the body. Now let's turn our attention to a subject close to every traveler's heart: photography. Capturing the beauty of Uganda is a tempting endeavor, but it's important to approach it with cultural sensitivity. Never take photographs of people without their permission. It's not only a courteous gesture, but also a way of honoring people's privacy. As we immerse ourselves in Ugandan culture, it's essential to be mindful of our attire. When exploring local communities or visiting religious sites, opt for modest clothing that covers your shoulders and knees. So, the next time you find yourself in Uganda, remember these insights. Embrace the traditions and make lasting memories. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to hit that banner if you are wondering what life in Ghana would be like. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.